I think I played like that over at um at PM and the PM. Okay, okay. Now, now we're come on, like okay. Um, just what what are you feeling like right now? This second. Tired. <laughs> You're feeling tired. I'm tired. How did okay the first match the, the first few matches that you were going up against Junkyard Dog, they weren't so pretty. Yeah, those are fun. Those are hard. Because <laughs> <laughs> it it just looked like he was able to like get those really hard punishes on you, really like mess with you. Yeah. And what kind of like adaptation? Like what, what were you thinking? Like the thought process that you had going into the second set. Um, I'm trying to think here, but like. I like, was there certain things where you're like, okay, he's doing this to me constantly. I can't let him get away with this anymore. Or was it just, like, hype wave? Because I know the first match, you are able to get a two solid down airs. Um, starting it with a down air and ending it with a down air. And we all know, like, when we start riding the hype wave, that momentum, it makes it a little bit easier for us to play. A little bit easier for us to, you know, like, go ahead and go forward. So uh -huh. do you think that had, like, a bit of an impact on the way that you were going through the match? Like, for the first set? The second set. Second set? Yeah, I think. Like, I just know that, like, uh, someone told me that I should play more patiently. And, well, I started realizing that he does, like, eventually go in yeah. if you wait. And I just had to make sure to just... Capitalize, right? Yeah. Every time you got that little inch. Yeah. Because it, wasn't, cause you made, it looks like you made quite a bit of a... Like, you, like just the play style that you were, like, rocking, it just changed. Because mm -hmm. the first one, you're like going in and you're getting punished hard. I think I was constantly. just like, like half, half doing what I was like knowing what I was doing, and then half of it was just autopilot. Autopilot, yeah. just like that Ganon powerhouse. In the yeah. first one or the second set? I think the first one, because I just started like. Sometimes I just want to hit him, but I wouldn't. I just yeah. I just couldn't. So you're My approaches like, were being really bad. You're almost like getting like baited in. Yeah, like I was. I was like. He wasn't doing anything, and I was just baiting myself into him. Like yeah, so it was just kind of like frustration. Yeah. So you're running like that negative wave of frustration. Yeah, I think into it was like a waterfall of pain and sadness for a bit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, well, like, how do you feel like about um, just like the tournament? Was there anyone that you faced along besides a uh, junkyard that you felt was extra ham, extra hardcore? Um, Zigawa and Rubik's. Zigawa and Rubik's. I didn't get to see those matches. Yeah, we got those on. We got those recorded. Mm -hmm. Normally, the last time I pl would always play um, Ziggawa, Yeah. It would just be like, I remember I would just consider him well, like, like he would a little be an brother. opponent. Well, yeah, like I guess a little yeah, brother. Yeah, like a little brother. Like a but little PM like, brother. Yeah, but now it's like this time that I played him, it was like, what the heck is going on? Like, why ain't I winning? <laughs> okay. Like he definitely improved a lot. Mm -hmm. Like. I can tell, even though I haven't... Yeah, I think he like got, like, fifth place or something today. Yeah, he tied for fifth place today. Yeah, that's pretty rock solid. Yep. Any, any um, like... Okay, because I know you live in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. So you have to have time to practice your tech. Yeah, I do. And is there any, like, certain, like, little, like, process that you go through, like, anything that you practice, like, specifically with Ganon that you think is, like, essential to Ganon play? Wave landing? Wave landing? Yeah, wave landing is just a key part of playing Ganon. It's just, that's part of its movement, and if you can't do that, it's going to be really hard for you to just get around on the maps most of the time. Because, yeah, because I noticed that in, um, I think you took him to Battlefield. Or the Battlefield match in the first set? Or second mm, set? I yeah, I, I took him to Battlefield on both sets. No, both we sets? went to Battlefield on both sets. How did that feel, do you think? Because I, um, when I was, what I brought up was, like, I think that Battlefield gives you those extra platforms, gives you that extra mobility, extra movement to get around. Normally it but should, but it's like, as I was playing like that, I just didn't necessarily think about that all the time. I just like, I just wanted to g get them basically. Just punch them? Yeah. Is there anything that you had to like, kind of like, did or like something that you do to calm yourself down, to put yourself in that state of mind where you're like, okay, whew, I'm just getting punched in the face because I keep running into that fist. Like, um, um, I think I didn't do. I like basically just took a breather, relaxed a bit right before the second set. Mm -hmm. I just, I guess I gathered my thoughts. Like, uh. feeling nervous? Are you still like jittery from like yeah. the game or whatever? Yeah. Okay, let's let's practice it then. Let's just take a deep breath. Are you chill? <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Breathe, like let it out. <laughs> yeah. Are you yeah. feeling a little bit more chill? Yeah, because yeah, I mean, you won. You got money. Yeah. 
You, we go to Carl's Jr. We go to Applebee's. We go to, you know, like steakhouse. It doesn't matter to you, dude, because you you got money. You can buy for whatever you want. <laughs> I'm buying what? Um. So yeah, like, like last words. Any last thing that you wanted to like say? Oh, I'm just glad that the like that a lot of people actually showed up today for um, Zigawatt's tournament. Yeah, we're getting out of town people, which yeah, is super like cool. Yeah, that was like such a surprise. Like, I wonder where they are when we're doing our our Quest for Salt ones, but. <laughs> well, Quest for Salt, people came up for Quest for Salt too. No, but I mean like, oh, where, are, where are they for Quest for Salt? We need more hype. Yeah, that's true. We can't just have Errol destroying everyone. Yeah, Errol's pretty good. I, I don't like fighting monkeys that often. Yeah, I've never enjoyed a battle with a monkey in my like my entire life. I think it drives they everyone dirty. bananas when they fight it. Yeah, I feel a little nutty. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Um, so yeah, good job. Thanks. Like you got, uh, he did the reset, but then you established some serious dominance around in the second set. Like kind of just like, you know, <laughs> like put him in his place. Show junkyard dog, he belongs in the junkyard. Oh. No, I'm kidding. No. Um, so yeah, no, you did really good. <laughs> that was impressive. Um, now I'm gonna interview him, see what his thought process was. All right. Yeah, good job, dude. Thanks, man. Junkyard bro. Junkyard bro, let me um, interview you super quick. Come on, bro, you can play him later. Um, what time? Depends on the time. It seems like. What time do you want to leave? I want to head out like before nine. Huh? 8.30? Yeah, because... Oh, okay, well, I'll talk in a bit. Junkyard bro. Junkyard, junkyard bro, bro. So. Junkyard dog, junkyard, junkyard bro. Junkyard homie. So what Etho just said is, in the second set, I showed Junkyard dog that he belongs in the junkyard. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I said that. <laughs> but, dude, it's like, you're so good. You're, like, one of the sickest roys I've seen. Like, you're Thank implementing you. some, like, freaky stuff. Like, the way you side Wave me, bounces. Wave bounces are beautiful. Yeah. But just the way you side me, like, in the air, like, kind of just, like, almost like a Ganon float. Like, yeah. helping you with your tech chases, helping with all these other things. Like, it's mm -hmm. like, super, super cool. I have been punched a lot from him. Corey tells me not to do him, like, pretty much most of the time. But I can see instances where I think it's, like, super good. You're, and yeah, then obviously you're instances really well. where you get punished and you lose a stock from him. Mm -hmm. But you have to, like, go through that whole process to learn when it's good and when it's not. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, Ganon has a very, like, telegraph recovery. Like, if you know he's going to... Uh, down, down B, B, then you can just then go you out might there and well Yeah, you might as well just get it over with. There's a couple things I wanted to talk to you about. First of all, um, you faced Snake. You faced um, Rubix, yeah. the Snake player, a little earlier. Oh, you faced me, you jerk. You knocked me out. <laughs> um, but you played against Snake. And how did you feel about that match? Like, how, what was going through your head? I actually... Because the first time, I lost you got a little time. rocked. Yeah. Like, and this time around, it was like the complete opposite. You looked like you were just in a completely different... Um, like zone. Yeah, I think what happened was I do know what snakes go for, and I do have snake experience. But what I thought I should be doing is like, okay, to avoid a lot of sh snake shenanigans with item play and stuff like that, you play patiently until you maybe you get it down to it. So I think I was letting him like do set up what he wanted to set up and stuff like that. And then uh, the last set when I played more rush down and I was on him. I just ended up getting a lot more down tilts because I tried to stay constantly on them. I got a lot more grabs too and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And you're definitely being, you're able to set up for a lot more stuff. Yeah. And then um, Snake's another character where I can kind of do like my wave bounce uh, side beats and stuff. But I don't know if I did it that much. But what's cool against characters like him is like short hop, flare blades, and, and downers. They cover like sweet spot on the ledge too. Mm -hmm. So Snake doesn't just get like free ledge off of me either. I think Roy wins the matchup because even if Snake gets knocked down, I can keep just read down tilting yeah, and stuff like that. True. He can combo him pretty well. Because <coughs> I know that um, Marth has looked at it as often as a as a snake counter, and we're like yeah. debating like how how it is for for Roy in that matchup. Yeah, I I do agree. I think it's a little bit in Roy's favor. Nothing crazy or anything. Yeah, like not 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 the way it is for um, Snake versus Marth. Yeah. Yeah, I can totally see it just because I can. Yeah, there's out. similarities between Marth and Roy, but obviously the big distance differences is that Marth can stay aerial a lot more with his moves and stuff like that. So like he doesn't have as bad of a time against like DK. 
oh, as okay. Roy does. Yeah, no. So, yeah. but that does. Yeah, that doesn't matter too much in the snake matchup. I don't think. Mm -hmm. And of course, Mark's gonna die off the top worst though. And Roy is. I don't have to worry about that as much. Who's heavier? Is it is it Roy? Uh, I don't know, but I mean he falls faster. So. Oh, okay. okay. Stuff like that too. Um, man. Okay. So then. And I do. I would like to say I do like this tournament. I would come back here. It's as far as the balcony, and I'm looking to just improve. So That's super if balcony's cool, man. on Fridays, we love to have Saturdays, you. I'd come back more. And we're gonna upload all your cool vods, so everyone can see all your high quality videos. Ba Arrow kind of bought me at the balcony too. I was kind of look forward to maybe, maybe hope, hopefully getting a little bit of revenge here, but uh -huh. he's not here. But there's still tons of good competition. Yeah, I like the guys out here. Thanks, man. Thanks. Except as Poppy didn't show up. That's Poppy. I no, want I know. On he's a Poppy. little, he's a little rocker. Yeah. yeah it's, it's yeah, it sucks because I feel like a lot of our like four of our like, you know like, better players weren't weren't um, present in this tournament. It's popping. Yeah, it's Royal, poppin'. Royal wasn't in the bracket. It's popping. Royal, his brother, um, Arrow. Yeah. That's like four solid players yeah. that definitely affect the bracket. Then there's other like um, people that don't come out too often, but when they do, they they make that impact. It's like H2O, who's just like. Yeah, water is definitely important. <laughs> oh no, I'm just, I've never heard of H2O though. He's he's a good Ganon. He's okay. um, he was the guy who was holding the torch before Etho. Okay, quick next next questions. Um, how did it feel going against Ethel? Like, what what happened? Like, what do you think happened between the first and second set that made such a like? Because the first one was almost a three zero. It was like three one or something, four one yeah. or something like that. No, three one, whatever you won. And the next time, three zero. Like what? What was interesting is the first set. First of all, he's like edge guarding me better, which many characters don't have the tools to like get around Roy's up B. Uh -huh. But Ganon definitely does, and he showed me the first set. He got me like. Yeah, we I tried a sweet see spot. He got me with a back air. Yeah, we can actually see fair. your face. Like, when you're <laughs> getting edge guarded, you're like. <laughs> like, every what? one of his aerials, an Eddie Spike, a Fair, a Bear, a Dare, they, uh, from floating, they could all kill yeah. me. And he was actually doing that a lot more in the first set. And then in the second set, he was just, like, straight comboing me to death almost. It's almost like. Maybe it wasn't. I, he, probably, he probably knows better, like, the overall strategy and, uh -huh. and what changed there. But he also seems just like a smart guy that. Uh, data collects and then read yeah and it looked like he, that's what he was doing because he just kind of like because that that can make a huge <laughs> difference with Ganon is yeah. whether or not you get the reads or not and because when he whether gets or not a read you know it hurts yeah. yeah same with Roy too and it's, it's impressive too because he's like how old is he 17 yeah he's a little kid still yeah oh and first set, I did notice it was weird when he was commentating I could hear him like while I was playing he was yeah. saying yeah because he plays a little Roy he knows like the worst uh, habit to do against Roy is second place and yeah. you can see me just get free down tilts and stuff like that. And that's how I start a lot of my combos off of Tech in Place. Mm -hmm. But in the first set, he was teching in place a lot. So I was like, he, he just talked about a habit he shouldn't be doing, and then he's doing the first set. And yeah. I don't think he did it too much his second set. I, I think. think it was just kind of like, like he started getting rocked, and he was like, oh, man. And then yeah, just like, you has got to stop being lazy. I yeah. can't Tech in Place. i got to roll everywhere and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, it was it was impressive, man. Like, just the way you were you're playing. You've been pl you were playing really good so far from Thank what you. I could tell. Yeah. I um, hope, like... I haven't really beaten like the PR in SoCal too, too, too well yet or anything like that. But I'm lo I'm looking to take some names. Hopefully yeah, it looks like you, yeah. like you can like in the near future, man. Because you, I remember seeing you at Adventures Guild. You're doing good. Yeah. And then you just started well like there. you're doing way better now. Yeah. Like, you just leveled up. Like, I think sure. maybe it's because I'm like 75 percent wanting to go to final boss, and I know if I want to go to final boss, uh, you it needs to be worth I it. I like to, yeah, try to make yeah. top 16 or top 8 or just see what I could do there, so. Yeah, make so top uno, <laughs> dude, number one. Okay. There's a lot of good SoCal coming out there. No, yeah. I know. And it's, then it's Thunder's Reign would be interesting, too, because he's like the yeah, best in NorCal. Yeah, the best DK. And some people think that's Roy's worst matchup. I think it's probably day-to-day, -day, but DK's hard for Roy. Ooh. I feel like, no, yeah, I feel like DK could be pretty bad yeah. for Roy. Especially but with those like s like sneaky little back airs. But because but Agzo started living with uh, my roommate, like I beat Agzo in sets. I beat oh I beat Royal yeah. in the set that I played with him. I beat Lobo. So I have a feeling I'm getting better with the DK. But day to day, that's hard for Roy. Day to day, that makes me want to pick uh, use my pocket Falco. Oh man, so that's where I'm at right now with that. Yeah, I saw that that Falco. Yeah, look at, they're looking fresh. How do you feel about good. your set with me? We played in losers. My 70s. set, I hate you. <laughs> I feel like that's the like the no, one matchup where I actually jump in the air a lot because I have to I have to confront your aerials with my aerials. Yeah, no, it was fun. Like playing you was fun. Like I felt like like it was a little stressful. Like I picked up on some like little baby habits and you yeah. picked up on mine. Like I, I could feel it like going back and forth. It felt really good. Yeah, 
it, it feels stressful because, like, it, even when you know you got the whole stock lead, you're like, okay, I'm one bite to wrong di fair to waft. And yeah, so, no, into, it's into scary. Evening it up and all and for that. me, it's just like I'm, I'm just like one di mix up, um, like throw di mix up into yeah. fair, and I'm just like, I'm, yeah, I'm throw smashed, di mix up into like, like side bees or smash. Oh, yeah, like the whole yeah, thing was like, like it was really fun. Totally. Yeah. Totally looking forward to playing you again in the future. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by, man. I mean, it means a much a bunch to have people coming out. We're doing our best to level up our quality. You know, show people that the desert is a is a cool place. It is. And we're hoping to uh, you know have more people come out. Do you guys plan on coming out to any tournaments in the Definitely. future too? Yeah. No. Yeah. We're, we're like traveling a if bunch. They do another Brocal or Balkan. Brocal. That, like that the problem with that we want we would have totally gone to Brocal bunches um, thing. The reason we didn't go was just because um, Etho had a little event planned already on that date before Brokel even announced oh, the thing. Okay. And it was kind of just like, oh, like we don't want to bell on our homie. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's the reason we didn't go to that. Okay. But anyways, like final words, any like last little like thoughts or anything that you wanted to put in? Maybe last call outs? Uh, Shout outs? <laughs> I will say last minute thoughts. Uh, uh, I know I, I messaged Arrow once before this, and, mm -hmm. and, he, and he told me, like, uh, he said somebody so like I gotta make sure not to lose Etho. I said I wanted my revenge on him here, and he's like, "You better, you gotta make sure that you take care of Etho first. And so oh, that's what I was thinking after the first set. I was like, "Yeah, Arrow's gonna look and see that at least I took out Eth." Like I was, I felt pretty confident after the first set, but yeah. then he goes and three O's me. Yeah, no, Etho's yeah. a smart kid, man. If if only I had maybe uh beat Rubik, so then maybe I only would have had to beat Etho once, and then so yeah, I wouldn't have given him time yeah. to adapt and all that. Because there was some <laughs> there was some serious adaptation going on. Yeah, I think one. there was too. Oh, that was pretty cool. But it was yeah, no, the whole thing was really dope. Um, so yeah, shout outs, call outs, shout outs and call outs. Call um, someone out, dude. Call someone. <laughs> call the arrow um, out. Where are you at? Uh, if dude, I ever nah. if I ever see Lunchables at a tournament in the future, I might. I do really like the Roy Dittos, and yeah. I haven't played a Roy of his caliber, and it would be fun. It would be fun. Best of five. We could do $100. Is he going to final do 50. We could do. I don't think so. I've, I think he's only been a one out of state tournament, and that's a. Uh, that's Paragon? What, yeah, Paragon. And uh, it's no disrespect yeah. to him, though. He's like my favorite player. He's, Is he? He's, he's, I think he's like maybe the best player in PM, even though the results don't show it yet. Just when I see what he's doing with two Link and Roy, I'm like, you know, you know. I thought Sethlon was the reason I picked up Roy, but then I see Lunchables. Then you see Lunchables, and you're like, no, this is the reason. But now I'm sort of like, Lunchables isn't the reason I play Roy. It's, it's like I get myself off now. Lunchables, you get does, Lunchables doesn't it's do like, the cool side B stuff. Yeah, it's like, like it's like, like you're <laughs> watching some like weird like buff guy magazines and stuff. Yeah. And then you just start pasting your face onto those guys' bodies, <laughs> and you're like. I could look pretty yeah. swole, man. I look yeah, pretty good. Yeah. And next thing you know, you become the buff guy. <laughs> yeah, you, then you are the buff guy. <laughs> no, but uh, it would. I mean, it would be cool to be like another Roy like Lundables that other people look up to. So that's yeah, why. No, that's also why it's cool to come up here and get these matches streamed and stuff. Yeah, maybe if anything, maybe get a Jiffy Cat of uh Dude, of, there's of that double spike I got on on Rubik's. There's some. There's cool. a bunch of Jiffies, a bunch of Giffies that we can get on today. There was a bunch of weird stuff going on, a bunch of cool stuff, a bunch of hype yeah. stuff. No, but yeah, seriously. I do. I, I like the stream. The stream looks nice. Thanks, man. Thanks. We worked pretty hard. This is like a a year's worth of effort going into going into play. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thank you so much for coming out. Thanks for playing. Mm -hmm. Seriously appreciate having you guys out here. If you guys come back, I'll try to get a full carpool next time. Damn, that'd be awesome. <laughs> and well, we'll beat you again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> One guy will beat me. One no, guy. two guys beat me today. But oh, well, S. Poppy wasn't here. Yeah, and he could have beat me yeah. too. I, I should have <laughs> beat him at S. O. D. But he like down tilted me at zero. No, so dude, kill me at I zero percent. Like I remember I was playing S. Poppy, and he was doing the same shenanigans to me. Like yeah. if you get down tilted or you down smash, you're like down tilted at the edge, zero percent, you're done. <laughs> yeah, so it's hard. But yeah, seriously, like in all honesty, thanks so much for coming. It's awesome having you guys out here. Thank you. You're welcome. And I think that's that's it. Any. Let's get some. You wanna come over here, Alex, real quick? Oh, you know, no, Jason, Jason, sit down, real quick, real quick. Give, give that guy his money and hurry up. Uh, what's going on? After today, you now understand how annoying it is to be a TO. You understood that you need to have money at the beginning of a tournament for change. You understood that people are selfish and want to play friendlies all the time, and they'll slow down your bracket, including me, including yourself. And you learned 
that I, I, don't, I don't know what else you learned. I'm sure you learned a lot of things. I Thanks did. for hosting. Hey, no problem. Anything that you wanted to say or anything to the people watching? Uh, hello. I don't know. I'm just tired. <laughs> tired? Yeah. I can't really make. I can't really words right now. You can't really words. Well, uh, either way, awesome to see other people hosting tournaments out here. Super mm -hmm. cool. Um, thanks for hosting, man. It was awesome. Yeah, I might uh, change the name because there were some minor complaints about it, but let's not uh, even go into that, dude. Let's not even. Yeah, there was. Like, I just said because of sound call. I didn't really. No, yeah, feel it, like sounds, it sounds. A couple super people cool. get it's butthurt some about it. Some people are just really, um, really they, sensitive about something. They like it when their butt hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's just the. Uh, <laughs> I think the name can stay, and just 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 the five. I mean, it just sounds cool, you know. It does. I mean, it's where your hopes and dreams go to die, and your money. Yeah, that's that. I remember that's what you said, like Village Gallows, mm -hmm. where all your hopes and dreams and hopes to win are gonna, you know, die. Yeah, like and then be taken by the executioners, which in this case was Etho, Junk Your Dog, and Rubik's. And I was, and I was the one getting. Dude, executed. You did great. Executed. I, was, I didn't. You either got fourth. Either way. Either way. Thanks. Thanks so much for hosting. You did great. Thanks. Thank Good you. Good job. Good um, This is your boy Itchy and your boy uh, Ziggwad mm -hmm. over here. We have Alex. I'm, uh, I'm holding it down over here. How do you feel, Alex? How do you, oh, you can't even. You can't even hear what you're saying. So just just mouth things, and I'm gonna pretend I'm you're the one talking. Hi, my, my name is my name is Alex, and I like big booty girls. <laughs> so no, that's, that's the face <laughs> of someone yeah, who is thanks, dead inside. Thanks for everyone that's um, watching the videos. Thank you so much. Well, we're trying our best to get uh, better quality. Yeah, come yes. out and play. Come out and play, us guys. We're here to. Gosh, I I, I love play. the layout Alex did. It's sick. It's sick. Alex always holding it down. Yeah, I love the green. Dark green's like, real talk, is one of my favorite colors. And this is just, it's like poison green. I love it. It's like a painful, uh, you have diarrhea kind of green, which is great. Mm, yeah, basically. Yeah, it's like a Riddler green. Riddler green? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I see it. Yeah. Well, anyways, thanks for everyone watching. This is Boyichi, Bolox, mm -hmm. and Zigawa, and we're signing off. Bye. Good. Dude, the, stop. Oh, do I have to do something funny? Huh? I have to do something funny. Yes, <laughs> do. No, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have anything really. You just no, I can't even words. I can't be. I can't make clever jokes right now. Man, I freaking. Oh, uh, I can't say things until you stop, man. I freaking hate that one guy. What's his name? Um, starts with the. Uh